keep his word. And earlier today, Senator Ron Johnson filed the If You Like Your Health Care Plan, You Can Keep It Act, giving you, the American people, the freedom to keep your plan if you so choose. Here with the details, the man himself, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Senator, good to see you. Welcome back. Well, Sean, how you doing? All right, after, but we could do, if you like your plan, you can keep it. I want my $2,500 savings uh, per family per year act. Right. And, uh, oh, by the way, the website is going to run Easy Act. Can we do that? Yeah. Sean, this is about freedom. And, of course, President Obama's promise is being broken to millions of Americans today. And so what my bill simply does is it allows those Americans to have that promise kept for them so they actually can keep their health care plan as President Obama promised. And that, let's face it, that's the only way he was able to sell this to a, to a gullible public, unfortunately. And so now, now, now we're faced with this, and I am encouraging my Democratic colleagues to join with me quickly to pass this bill so we can actually preserve those health care plans before they are extinct. All right, let's, let's go to the president's own words, because he was so definitive. He said it so often. He said it as recently as, as last month of him, if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. Right. Well, I, I think this is very, I don't think this is clever on your part. I think this is important, because if, if a president, a politician makes a promise, they ought to keep it. Let's roll the tape. Under the reform we're proposing, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. And if you do have health insurance, we'll help make sure that your insurance is more affordable and more secure. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you've got health insurance through your employer, you can keep your health insurance, keep your choice of doctor, keep your plan. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Period. Period. No qualifier, no caveat. Right. Uh, how many people you have signing on to the bill now? Well, sir, sir, currently we have 40 Republican Senate co-sponsors, but, you know, again, we, we need Democrat senators to sign this bill. And let's face it, pres the president was either being dishonest or disengaged. He, did he not even have a clue what was in his bill? Do you not understand the, the negative consequences? And, and Sean, you know, you're talking about Obamacare horror stories. What really prompted me to act now was a, a couple from Wisconsin, both with cancer. The, the, the wife has stage four lung cancer, and they got dumped off, got dropped, canceled from the high risk pool, which actually works. And trying to get on healthcare.gov over 40 times couldn't do it. And now that they're in contact with some insurance companies in, without, without the government plan, they're finding out that their exposure is going to double, going from about $20,000 a year to $40,000 a year. That's not health security. That's health insecurity. And hey, that's being Senator, caused directly by Obamacare. You know, these are real people. And as I was pointing out earlier, they've known for three years about this. And it's not only... It's not only hurting the individual market, but it's also hurting small employers and large employers to the point Forbes is estimating now about it's going to be about 93 million Americans. And they're using, again, government numbers to get to that figure. No, you know, millions of Americans aren't even going to realize they cancel their plan because they'll still have coverage under the same company. But what they're not going to realize is because of all the mandated coverages. And Congressman Blackburn was absolutely right there. You know, some people want to actually purchase something. They actually want to have the freedom to purchase a lesser plan because that's what they can afford. They're not going to be able to afford the mandated coverages. So this president's driving up the cost of health care. He's going to make it less accessible. And that's just a real shame. All right, let, let me play this for you. Is there anything we can do about the president's promised savings? Because most Americans now are are experiencing, if they're not cancellation, outright rate shock and dramatic increases in their premiums, 45 out of the 50 states. Can you do anything about this promise of the president? We estimate we can cut the average family's premium by about $2,500 per year. It's time to bring down the typical family premium by $2,500. And it's time to bring down the costs for the entire country. So you're going to have a clear contrast. John McCain's Bush light health care plan <laughs> or a plan that lowers premiums by $2,500. What do you think, Senator? Well, that was a pipe dream. I mean, anybody that believed that, uh, I don't know what to say about him. You know, so obviously that also is another broken promise. Obamacare <laughs> raises premiums and, you know, there, there's no way, there's no way that promise can be honored, but we can honor the promise to millions of Americans if we pass my bill, because there is a way to grandfather current plans 
it, Americans should have the freedom to keep the health care plan like President promised. And so, again, I'm asking Democrat senators to join with us. You know, the really sad fact, John, as I recall during the debate, 85 percent of Americans were satisfied with the health care plan. But now we've totally remade the, the, our, our current health care system. It's going to lower quality. It's going to lead to rationing. It's going to reduce innovation. We've got there's to reverse not, this trend. We've got not, to repeal this bill eventually. There's not one Democrat, red state Democrat, even Landrew Pryor, Beglich, whatever his name is, in Alaska. Is that one of them that has the integrity to say that we, we, have, a, we have an obligation to uphold the promise we made? Nobody? Not one? Well, Mary Landrew's talking about it. But you know, the question we need to ask any Democrat that voted for this bill is, did you believe the president when he said no American would lose their health care plan? Did you really believe the president when he said that insurance rates would decline by $2,500 per family? I think every Democrat senator, every Democrat House member should be asked that right. question, and they should be held to account. They should have to answer that question. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan act. We'll be following it closely, Senator. Thanks for being with us. Have a great night. Coming up next.